All right, gang. I acquired this a week ago. This is the Nylent 6600 mobile home set. And it's made from 64 through 67. Now, the little bit of history I found on it is that the, I believe it was the first year the white cap on the trailer or the mobile home was actually a beige color. I've seen the the trailers not often but I've seen them around pretty beat up missing everything this one's missing the windows and one tail light but other than that it's in pretty good shape and played with condition now I got my information from TNT trucks uh, that's a good source if you're looking for you know like a little bit of information for Nylance and other stuff, other Presto trucks. But here's the interesting thing about this. It's a Nylance truck and usually there's a round Nylance sticker from the 60s and later on they went to Nylance in or, or just Nylance. I can't remember on the doors. But this one had Transit Homes Inc. on it. I didn't realize that till I got it home. Got to looking at it and hmm maybe whoever bought this put put their uh, company logos on it well I went to do some more investigating and apparently Transit Home Inc is a corporation if you will don't know much about them but they I think they still exist today and they move mobile home, homes office buildings and such uh, I thought it was interesting that here's a nylon from the 60s that is a private label. And if you go online and look uh, at the uh, nylon mobile homes, you will see these decals on the cab. I thought it was pretty cool because, you know, when I got home, I said, man, I guess I have to peel them off. And because usually what happens when I buy stuff that has stickers on it that don't belong, like, like the mobile home did. It had like flower decals and you know girly stuff on it oh and this was marketed for girls um, I think it's really cool looking um, you know in the 60s I think it's late 50s early 60s there's a big there's a big thing for people to have mobile homes that they can move around the country and live in different areas uh, when we moved to Georgia we actually lived in a mobile home most of my childhood memories and this was the 70s and when I say moved to Georgia, I was a baby. Was born in Tennessee, lived there a year, and we moved here. Thank God. Georgia Bulldogs, baby. Anyway, this set, I, I, I always kind of wanted one, but I really never pursued it. And I wish I'd have got them years ago when they were a lot cheaper. Um, but this set, as I said, is missing a one tail light, and I'll show you that, and it's missing all the windows. I'm hoping I can find replacement windows. But when I went to look at it and asked if it came with the furniture, he said it came with a ton of furniture. I got a whole box and a baby. Kind of creepy looking baby. Rosemary's baby, I guess, for those of you who know what that's about. So uh, I get it home, learn about the. Uh, Transit Home Inc. is a legitimate decal on this truck. I did do a search for press steel private labels, but this one uh, didn't come up on there on the searches that I've read through. There's others I got to go and read through, but I just hadn't gotten around to it and probably won't. So let's check out the truck first. It's a 65 Ford. Got nylon in the bumper. Got paint loss as expected. Uh, there is a pristine one. And I, it, it's like 380 something dollars right now it's got the box and all the furniture and I think it actually has the same transit home ink decals on it here's the roadside and the back all right, so that you know the, the glass set's got cracks in it, but good lord, this thing's you know 64 to 67. I don't know what year it was produced. I wish I could find that out, but uh, 
I can't. So let's check out the trailer or the mobile home. So you notice the pin you drop into the uh, tractor is bent back. I'm not going to try to straighten it out because I, I don't want to take a chance of breaking the tongue. So the top comes off. Oop, and there's the top. Just good steel. And usually, this is how I would find the trailers, except in worse condition. Uh, missing the doors, or if the doors on there, they were beat up or painted different colors. I've even seen some that had carpet glued into the uh, floor by whoever had them but it's just two rooms it's got the landing gear on the front a lot of them are missing that it's got the two lights on the front now like I said in the 70s we were we lived in a mobile home and I remember I actually have a picture somewhere of the tail lights it had these big humongous round tail lights on the back of it and there's the curbside now when i started looking through all this furniture i realized i had to and, I, and it's all here it had two blue chairs and i actually have three then it had a uh, pink kitchen accessories you got a sink, a stove, and a fridge. Look, old Philco from the 50s. Then it had a yellow bed. I thought it was broke, but I, but it actually it's not. That's how it was made. It was a, you know, it was a different time when these toys were made. Uh, the company that made these toys is called Plasco, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. I may just do a video on all the rest of the furniture. And it had a nightstand, a desk, which ironically looks just like the dresser, so if it doesn't have the mirror attached to it, and a chair for the desk. Or what do they call that? Art Nouveau? Is that what it is? I'm not into fa fashionable furniture. So I'm not saying that all these these pieces are original to this trailer but these if you go back and look at the original setup of this you will see that set of furniture with this mobile home and like i said i got that whole, whole box of furniture i guess i will show you that in another video but i do have a whole box of additional pieces that I learned the company was called Plasco. Is it toy company or plastic company? Anyway, they made dollhouse furniture, and they sold it. It was these. One take one of these out. Uh, that's what would have came with the mobile home. So I got the complete set of furniture, plus a ton of other. I also have a bag of furniture that was broken. That. I've got in the box. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It's just all damaged furniture. Now it, it's just hard for me to throw crap away, especially old stuff. It's, you know, because Plasco was from the '50s. I know through the '60s, but I don't know how far out after the '60s they uh, produced dollhouse furniture. All right, gang. So that's the Nylant 6600 mobile home set. It's in the collection now. I think it's pretty cool. I guess I'll set it beside the uh, horse van I bought a while back. Because they're the same color. Same blue and or teal or whatever the color they call that. And white. Thanks for checking it out, gang.